All right, ladies and gentlemen, maybe I did make a mistake right now. Maybe not. I have to confess first. I just deleted this thing here. Um, I just moved to Bonn on the map. Uh, Frankfurt and Bonn, that is in Germany. And uh, a little earlier to the city of Zenica and to the Mostar. But it's got to be done like this because this was what I'm about is to present you the proof about MKUltra in Germany and in Bosnia. Uh, two countries, Bosnia, Bosnian Federation and Germany, therefore. That's what I'm out to present you with, yeah? Uh, and so what I want to say to you is the audio recording took place yesterday upon my return from visit at the father in home for elderly people in the city of the Nova Mesta. Uh, and on a usual route which I take home through the certain parking lot Previously, that was a garden. Uh, it was exactly as Frau Angela Merkel stated me the case would be. Um, not too far from our old house in the city. And at what was previously known as a garden of Windischer. Let me demonstrate this on the map. Uh, there was a couple there that I figured out I should talk to. I passed and, um, you know, just like this, people pop up from around the world and it doesn't work just like this, you know. You need to make at least a few steps and it's, it's not happening just like this all right uh and i had a hard time identifying this couple but i did identify one enough to qualify for finale which law enforcement easily will be capable to complete for me this is in fact a hardcore proof as hardcore as possibly could be i did not google germany I did not Google Bosnia until just now when I actually, um, and you know what I'm going to do? Now, I was already very not okay with this stuff that I just deleted the video, which I dedicated. Uh, we're going to go to the recycle bin, and from the recycle bin, I will pull these two videos because it's important for me you know the audio i obtained was yesterday on may the 21st uh and right now i sit in front of the computer where i actually declared that let me see is this uh 416 megabytes already 44 minutes long and I decided I'm going to do it again because it's a couple that came from so far away and they deserve nothing but the best. So I'm doing this video uh, May 22nd, 2023. I am going to do a video on MKUltra in Germany. And okay, there you go. In Bosnia. So you see this, that's basically... Did you search uh, anything in respect to this German city? Oh, well, you see it. You're going to hear. 1611 I was the first time. I Google one at all. I would deliberately not going to Google. Uh, and so you can see that it was Monday, the 22nd, May 2023 is when I did the first video. I want to be this as authentic as possible. I deem that... Uh, if you connect yourself to the internet and you go about the issues, I think this is not authentic. You shouldn't do this. If you do something like this, I think that you have to pull everything, absolutely everything out of your head to prove 
the authenticity authenticity of your memory basically that's how your memory is worth something otherwise it's not worth anything and yes i did not want uh, to google anything until uh, basically just there you go okay i'm gonna start from where i amplified this stuff yeah that's what you're gonna hear now so that's when I started to look and it's something I'm going to do it again uh, for first what was uh, Sarajevo in Bosnia area such as Zenica and Mostar the two cities and then I gradually moved well, and closed down probably I don't know 15 minutes ago also toward Frankfurt area and uh, toward uh okay just to rate the, the distance that's all that that's all we have seen we have not seen the cities we have not seen absolutely anything we have only seen i googled frankfurt yeah? and i googled what i previously have indicated you is also the cities in bosnia so just as i said if you were to check my isp whatever you're gonna see that there was no such thing as my doing any kind of search anything in respect to what i'm about to say it's very important because i'm going to stress out of the memory stuff that applies to the germany i'm going to do it this in a such a way that regardless of it it would not be possible to refute my claims I'm about to make unfortunately i did not make these claims yesterday but i did pinned enough somewhat to um uh enough to score uh something tall enough to nobody could say that 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 i did not know these people and so on and so forth this lead was provided but none other than angela merkel I'm sure you're all familiarized, and I am going to repeat the same thing I did a little earlier. Angela Merkel, uh, who visited Novo Mesto, God knows how many times. Um, this is a city of the novel mess okay uh, uh, let's do this again so this is a tiny little slovenia right there and uh this is the city of the novel mess i tell you what what i'm gonna do is uh, authenticity i'm gonna put the video uh, maybe as a part number two the video that i just demonstrated you excerpts this video here uh or maybe not i don't know or maybe I will, but I feel that you folks deserve only the best. Uh, came from far away, and uh, I don't want to pay respect to that. I want to do my part, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And uh, this here, this is, this is outside of the city of the Novo Mesto. It's about the oldest part of the city of the Novo Mesto. Okay and uh it's called Trdinova ulica uh, this is a Ljubljanska banka bank and right there this is the house of my grandfather this is what my father have sold and built uh, a new house on the village this one right here that you see there you go now the opposite this little road here that you see see this is this is the road this is where i was playing on this scarp here this was my playground and on the opposite side i have this apartments here and we have this location here uh there was some barracks here before when i was growing up um uh, uh, let me see if i can actually just zoom through it's, in a way it was not a good thing i did i want to present this issue yeah 
Not that I would uh, want to honor Angela Merkel. This is not the idea here that I want to honor Angela Merkel uh, in respect to this issue. Just, just uh, I want, uh, I want to make my case very, very, very clear. It's already a video I have posted online in respect to who I am a few days ago, who I was, what I was to all this, what role I play to all this. Uh, and I'm not afraid, I'm not ashamed to stress issues that to many would be such a troublesome issues. You see, I'm not, a, I'm not ashamed of anything. This here is a hotel that a Germans built. Maybe you want to say Slovenian Germans uh, or Germans from Slovenia, whatever you want to say this, but we did have a significant uh, somewhat German minority in Slovenia. Uh, you could probably refer to them as a Gotsche Deutsch. Gotsche is the city Kočevje in Slovenian language. Um, what's going on with these people? Ha! <laughs> These people are people like people from the city. Uh, their last name, however, was Vindisher. Vindish. Vindisher, Vindish. Um, and they had a hotel. And this is an old hotel. And this hotel was uh, very famous. And uh, this is a beautiful novel, Mesto City. Uh, and this is the way it was. So Slovenia was part of the... Austria, Austro-Hungarian Empire, Austria is, a, is one of the lands of Austria for, I have no idea how long, but it's been very long, uh, I don't know. Is it 500 or is it 1000 years? I don't know, 500 more likely, but that's very long. So. Me not being ashamed of my own culture, uh, of my own DNA, which is a Slovenian DNA, uh, I don't have a problem to stress out that this, after the World War II, was a very well known It was known as a gusticia, like a guest house, uh, which, however, was from the state. Uh, it belonged to the Yugoslavia, to, to the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, uh, and it was turned into a restaurant where you would have people from abroad and locally they would come here to have specialties. In Yugoslavia, this was a place where they would play music very loud, so that you could, you, I could hear this music inside of our house as, as a child as I was. Um, that's what brings the memories on. Uh, when I say Yugoslavia, a lot of people here are from ex parts of Yugoslavia and from Bosnia and from Serbia. Uh, from from various uh, locations in what used to be known as uh, Yugoslav Federation of Republics. Okay, this was a uh, music, very loud music. They would play, uh, and they would prepare a really good food known as a chevapčići, which is rather like a Serbian specialty, something like this. I don't know how much is it healthy, but it's delicious. It can be a trouble. All right, I don't know how much healthy this diet is, but it's delicious. Uh, it's something like a burger meat, basically. And now go buy yourself a burger. Hurry up. Uh, just wait that I finish this video. All right, then go buy yourself that. So this is a vintager. I don't have a problem. Uh, I'm not doing this to satisfy uh, appetites of Frau Angela Merkel. Uh, I don't have a problem with the Germans. I don't have a. I don't have any kind of uh, anything against Germans. Uh, but I can be an angry man. 
There is no doubt about this. Because of the issues I stressed in the video, which I decided I would suspend one. It does me no good, really. Uh, I don't want to concentrate on... You know what? I am going to post that online anyways. And I'm going to avoid that. I'm going to write down not valid MKUltra. And we're going to do this one as a valid one. Uh, we're going to use this as a valid. Uh, I believe that in this case, more than just myself was discriminated. But I was really, really severely discriminated against. If considering Mark Zuckerberg or Sergey Brin, let's say, from Russia, there was a whole pack of the Russians like this uh, that arrived to the United States of America to live a life of a luxury, or Germany, or wherever, or Britain. And trust me, I have nothing against them. Or Larry Page, it doesn't matter, that's American native. Or Peter Thiel, let's say, German. Uh, or let's say Elon Musk from South Africa, a nobody's when compared to myself. If you want to know who I am, what I am, what I have done, then you have to go and see my video about who I am, what I am. And then you will understand that a man of my size does have the right to be severely insulted, feel discriminated against. Um, I didn't pay a double price. I paid more than a double price. And the worst part, maybe, is because this is also the video about the home for elderly people in Germany. The worst part about it is not only inside of the home for elderly people in the city of the Novomesto, where I go to visit my father, but inside of this home for elderly people in Germany, where I was brought since 1995 is where quite a few people went missing. They died because of the age. Me observing people, older people dying, that's not exactly a pleasant uh, issue to face with. It was people inside of this home for elderly in Germany where this lady I'm about to interview right now and her husband uh, worked, uh, husband still works, that had perished, that had died, that because of the age, there is no way they participated in it, they wanted to, they, their sons, their daughters, uh, relatives of these people inside of the home for elderly people, therefore elderly people in Germany, in this home for elderly people, uh, and it, it was it, it was it was just a terrible feeling. I realized last night that uh, I said to myself, "Man, I have no idea how I did all this." Uh, another terrible feeling I faced with was the feeling of helplessness that surrounded me with. Uh, when meeting with these older people involved in MK Ultra, who figure out that nothing ever is going to come out of this. And I had no definite answer for them as per, uh, I couldn't say, yeah, it will, tomorrow it will all be done. Yeah, it will be, you know, I, you want it to. And there, there was just no way to this monster, to this MK Ultra monster. And then you, then they go one by one, they disappear, right? It's not a very, very pleasant feeling, you know. Uh, I said to myself yesterday that, uh, you know what they were trying to do to me? They were trying to push me into uh, depression during MK Ultra. That's what they were trying to do to me. They were trying to seize the moment that would last forever. We talk about depression, for which I figure out during MK Ultra that if 
they would just succeed to capture, in my mind, a moment of this um, helplessness, you know, a, a, a moment of this, of this, uh, I think helplessness is like the best uh, definition for it because it's, it's, it, you're in trauma, they traumatize you all the time. And, you know, if you, if you, if they, you know, if you would just develop a f something I was afraid I would develop, that's why I was kicking all over the place. That's why I started to do all kinds of stuff. You know, I figured out yesterday that whatever you would do, even if you would shit in your pants or whatever it is that you would do, I think one time I did actually. Anything that you would do, that you would be obnoxious or whatever, anything is better than to allow for that moment to enter your mind. Because the problem is that if, if you would become depressed, I mean, if you, if you would develop like the slightest depression, if you would allow actually depression to, to settle itself inside of you, just for a moment, I figure out you would never get one out. I think it's like, it's, it's worse than cancer. I think if it gets inside of you, I don't think you can ever get out. I think it's a moment of helplessness that lasts as long as you, you spin around, you, you basically fade away. I think that you're done. That's why I did all kinds of stuff during Ankyotra that was, I hope, as unpleasant as much as possible. And still, I did not accomplish enough for them to stop this stuff. So it's not pleasant for me to acknowledge that there were residents from this home for elderly people, older people, whom I'm never going to get to meet. And they will never get to know that this case actually was finalized, that I did brought this all the way to the end, one way or another. And I think that this German people, because I criticize, I lambast the German government, they wouldn't want me any different than what I am. I think they alone, they would want me to ride with a tank, literally, through the doors uh, of a Berlin Gates, uh, straight into the German parliament, smashing one down. No, you have no idea what this is like. I think they alone would love nothing more than what I stated. You know? Because it's a disdain for really anything human. And it applies to everybody involved. Especially British. Shame on you. Many of these people that 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 older people, wherever they might be, they will never get to. I had a feeling that many of these old people, they they just they were just like it, it became to them this extremely extremely significant, important. And you know, guess what? Let's go now. I'm gonna go to the audio and we're gonna play as I go along. And at the end is when I'm gonna stress everything I missed yesterday and I didn't do well on this on this meeting with this beautiful couple the husband is from Bosnia uh, and uh, a wife is a German a real German um, what else is here for me to say I don't have anything else to say. Let's go and let's 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 play this stuff. So this is where we met. Uh, exactly where you see uh, the car right there with those lights on. If uh, internet is going to take me that far, and if it's not going to take me that far, the only thing I'm going to do is you can see the lights right there. That's exactly that. Okay. Ah, uh, let's go. We're going to do this stuff. Uh, this is the excerpt of the video. Uh, I did take one from here. This is the recordings. These are the recordings I have. I can use this as a backup.
these are two recordings and then this recording also become uh, uh, these are legitimate recordings so let me just give you a taste so that you see this yesterday i have identified several other people uh including the lady and her husband uh from Aragova Ulica. Um, that's another uh, MK Ultra prospect. Uh, I have identified a very important uh, employee at Home for Elderly People that is employed there now as a receptionist. Uh, I can tell her husband got a government work sometimes in uh, 2004. Um, I have identified um, two more workers. Uh, at this home for elderly people. Uh, those are younger, uh, before they even got a job there, they were already involved. Uh, permanent job is what I mean, before they completed their education school. Um, and uh, what else have I identified? What else can I boast about? Yeah, and this couple and, uh, and a friend of mine, a, a schoolmate, I pointed something about his father that whom I have never met. It's actually a whole more I have to learn, but okay, let's go to the couple. I did collect it, uh, this excerpt uh, from another recording for this one here, which clearly, clear, it's, it's working like, that's why I started over again this stuff too, so that we can have a clear, nice, uh, like a clean, clean, nice recording. So. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start playing this. Again, this is MK Ultra uh, related to the Germany and to the Bosnia. Uh, both of these uh, individuals, uh, definitely a lady was involved since uh, 1995. And um, the man probably just about the same with his family as well. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to play you audio now. So as I'm heading back home from home for elderly people where I just stated you, there's so many people that were involved in MK Ultra and are all over this home for elderly people. And my seeing these people, uh, for whom I don't know from day to day if I'm going to see them the next day, it's very, very unpleasant. And as I came home yesterday, I said to myself exactly the same thing. I said to myself, man, you know, this is already no good because of the people also in Germany that were involved in this stuff. This old people, this old man who was there and with his son, uh, with his sons. An old man who was involved in since '95, an old resident in this home for elderly people. There were two Germans men that I clearly remember, and they both passed away. They're never going to get to hear anything about this case. And like I said, it was people, these older people that. They didn't play the lottery, they didn't play whatever they, but they, they had a hope, they shared uh, for something they believed that I didn't frankly even dare to think about. I said, how are you? You know, I passed, I went past the, the couple and uh, I said to myself, this, this guys, they look familiar to me. They, they look familiar to me. Um, and uh, I walked and I walked and I walked and I said to myself, they're not from here. And, you know, they, they came from far away and uh, you better turn around and go and uh, let's talk. 
Takoshi. Huh. On my how are you? Uh, the gentleman gives me instead Kakosi. Kakosi, this is a Serbo Croat, uh, also now Bosnian language. Uh, now, when I hear this Kakosi, uh, after he tells me that he is from Bosnia, I knew. Like instantly that he is a Croat who lives uh, in a city where predominantly population is a Serbian population. The thing about it is, Zenica, he's going to say, is not predominantly Serbian. But he made an impression on me. Uh, he made it in my head idea uh, because he is a Croat that he must be from Mostar, and that's what I'm going to say next. I'm going to say, where are you from? He's going to say Bosnia, and I'm going to go immediately and say Mostar. He will go ahead and he will correct me, and he will say no. Uh, actually, he will never say no. He's a very polite guy on my side. He's trying to help me as much as possible. He's going to go and he's going to say uh, yes. He's going to say uh, so they have not no, but yes, he's going to say yes, uh, uh, Mostar, uh, Sarajevo, and Zenica. Zenica, he's going to say Zenica, I'm from Zenica. Okay. Ali, odakle? Odakle? Bosnian. Is Bosnia? Yeah. Where are you from? And he said, Bosnia. And I said, you're from Bosnia. And he says, yes. <laughs> ah, he's smiling, and I'm saying, ah, I remember now. Wow. Yeah, it's... Uh, I said, but you're, you're from Mostar, right? And he says, yes, Mostar, yeah. Uh, and then he says also Sarajevo and Zenica, and then he will repeat Zenica. Sarajevo, Zenica, or Zenica? You say Zenica? Yeah. So you are you are from Zenica? And uh, what about your wife? Uh, she is. I wanted to guess, and he, should, and he says he's from Germany. She's from Germany. On any emitter. Yeah, on any emitter. Uh, so many of you know what they are. Aha, Razumian. Aha. Guten Appetit. I wish the lady who is standing next to us, I said to her, uh, buen appetit, uh, enjoy your food. Oh, good appetit. <laughs> and we are all laughing, yeah? <laughs> I said, well, she understands me. Uh, and uh, the man says, no, she doesn't. That's his wife, yeah? <laughs> he says, she only speaks German. <laughs> Verstehen Sie mich? Nein. Ja? Mm. Deutsch Aber Sie sprechen Deutsch jetzt. Ja klar, beides. Uh, 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 she is also saying no, no Croatian, no English. Um, I uh, she said maybe a little English. I'm going to play you at the end of this if you want. It's going to be original recording included. Uh, uh, the husband says only German. Uh, both of you and. Uh, uh, yeah, something like this. And yeah, he says, naturally, yes, of course. Uh, I, I ask, but you, you speak German now? And when uh, the man says, of course, both of us. And the lady is asking me. <laughs> The lady is asking me, 
I can't help uh, but to laugh a little bit. I have to. Uh, it was all kinds of stuff during MPA also that we went through, and <laughs> the lady is, the lady, the lady says, the lady says, why are you asking this question? I mean, what I'm trying to say is she wouldn't be asking me these kind of questions if we wouldn't know each other already from somewhere. And your Frau, that is a sister, right? And I said, you know, your wife, if I can properly recall, your wife, your wife is a nurse, isn't it? Arbeitet in meine I said, I think she is employed in a hospital. I think she's a nurse and she works at a hospital, your wife. Yeah. And he says, no, no, yes, no. I'm asking, yes, no. <laughs> I'm looking for the answer for something I would get. Affirmative, negative, what is it? Pension. And the husband says, <laughs> pension. He says, pension. Pension. I am like, yeah, pension. Yeah, this is a pensioner. Translated from German. Pension. Pension has a multiple meaning. Pension is. <sighs> in pension, you would say in retirement. Uh, pension, you would also say a room, uh, a, a pensioner, a uh, pensionist would be a pensioner, you know. Uh, so I don't know what he's talking about. Now, I figure out that that's what he's talking about, right? That, that that's what he's talking about. Said, but what was she working before she became a pensioner? I said, yeah, now yes, but what about before? He says, uh, früh, before she used to work in a home for elderly people. So when I say hospital, home for elderly people, I can say that I was on a target. I was on a target at the end of the video. I will exactly explain why I did so extraordinarily well when I stated that she's a nurse and that uh, she works at the hospital. Yeah, at the end of the video, I will explain this. When I did this, I, I did with the flying colors, not exactly right, but with the video I'm going to complete right now, uh, which is extremely easy for the law enforcement to verify the information, uh, I am going to do with the flying colors anyway. And so, let's go. Uh, and she also... Uh, uh, yeah, I finally get it that she worked in the home for elderly people, not in the hospital. And the lady is, keeps laughing, you know, keeps laughing and eating her. Uh, she always liked that whenever she came to the novel master. She liked that. Uh, I think it's a book. It's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's like, uh, it's all people from Kosovo are really specialists in, in uh, baking. Uh, a food with a cheese, you know, like I don't know how you say that. Uh, she says, she says to me, she says to me, you know, and also tell him. Uh, she she talks to her husband, not as a nurse, but in Verwaltung. Verwaltung means uprava administration. Uh, I'm not a nurse, and I work in administration. In, uh, uh, she's a accountant. She's working in the accounting department 
of this facility, uh, this hope for elderly people, which is actually excellent. Thank you. The gentleman is asking me, uh, where are you from and where are you from? Uh, and the thing is that I hear this sirens blowing again that was to be part of MK Ultra, just as Angela Merkel wished for, and it's just as I stated, I'm a really, really cool back guy. I don't care. If I can help you, I am going to go and help you. Uh, if I cannot help you, I, I, I just, I'm going to turn around and go, oh, basically my way. This is just my motto, basically, you know? Um, just as Angela Merkel requested for this to be done at this uh, beautiful Windische, uh Hotel here, that's what her request was, and I salute one. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Please do not understand me wrong. I don't have the problem. I would enjoy meeting these people here. I would enjoy uh, a good company here at this parking lot where the streets are, where this beautiful was for the people to enjoy the summer, drink, the, you know what they used to do here, uh, 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 ice creams. They had like uh, ice creams, the best ice creams in the world. But these people already were long gone, this Vindishar. They were already long gone. I'm not, I don't know too much about these people, uh, but I have no idea what happened. Maybe they ran to Germany upon the World War II. I think it was something like this. I would have to go over uh, and find out about this. Find out about that kind of stuff. Um, with a pleasure, I do it here. With a pleasure, I tell you that that I acknowledge that this is this is a this was a tradition of the novel master that this was a, a fine hotel. This place here, uh, I have no problem whatsoever with this. Uh, I cannot zoom. It's a really beautiful place. I I was gonna, you know. To them bad, yeah. All right, whatever it is, it is. I just want people to get along with one another. Trust me, I'm not the one looking for the trouble. But when if somebody's out there looking for the trouble, I'll give you trouble. Um, anyhow, um, the ambulance vehicle goes past here, is blowing the sirens. Exactly according to MK Ultra scenario, location is there, uh, is allowed as much as possible. Uh, and according to MK Ultra scenario, is well, well, you know, this is not easy that you go past people and boy, uh, you find yourself in a situation like this and. You're trying to identify people. People came from far away, and so everybody is trying to do its best to to for something to make it happen. And this, this with this sirens blow. Um, I mean, what can I tell you? Why is it necessary to blow with the sirens? Why is it necessary to do this stuff like this? I mean, it's happening frequently, and uh, I don't think it should. I don't think it should. I think that, you know, in this case, I could say, well, you know, Slovenian government knew about this stuff and went ahead and do the stuff like this. It's actually really not okay, you know. When this recording took place, were actually evening hours of Sunday, 
Today is a Monday, May the 22nd, 2023, and the sirens were blowing over there uh, with this ambulance going past again on Sunday, which is really crazy stuff that's happening, but okay. That's all I wanted to alert about this stuff. It's not okay. She, she, the band asked me and says, are you from here? You know, like we would know each other, my God. And he is involved with his wife already since 95, probably that he was involved. I think he got involved maybe even a little earlier, maybe 96 or something. But wife, the lady, is one of the, the earliest people that I can recall Germans, as far as the Germans. And I recall her very well because she was a really, really beautiful woman. And I was really, really excited about this one. I said, I'm, at least I'm going to hook this one in 95 it was, uh, if nothing else. Yeah. So there is a big age difference between her and me. I did not notice during MK Ultra. <laughs> Freiburg. He says Freiburg when I ask where are you from uh, in Germany and, and it says Freiburg. Okay, I did not Google anything in respect to Freiburg or whatever, uh, but I did Google uh, here in Bosnia uh, a Mostar, you know. I did Google Mostar and I Googled Sarajevo and I Googled Zenica, just the way you see it right now, and nothing more than that. And I also Googled Frankfurt. So he's saying Freiburg. Uh, I have not even found one on the map. And uh, I will not look for that city known as Freiburg. When he said now Freiburg, uh, it, it really kind of screwed me up. At the end, I will explain to you all these issues, why and how. That's not good for me uh, because of quite an extraordinary memory that I have. It's why that's not good. Uh, but I, 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 I say to him, no, you're not from kind of Freiburg, whatever. You're from Frankfurt, no? I say, aren't you from Frankfurt? That's a Frankfurt here. Yeah, that's a Frankfurt. Now, uh, he's going to say, no, I'm not from Frankfurt. I'm 150 kilometers from Frankfurt. My wife and I are 150 kilometers from Frankfurt. And I don't want to say to him that that's pretty close. Uh, but it really is. When you consider Germany, this is a Germany. Look at it. You see what this is? It's, it's big. Um, uh, basically, uh, it says right there, Nemchia. And uh, with that, I cannot really uh, point out on anything. I, I just, it, got, it got to me that it's got to be an uh, English map that will do the job. Um, so there you have it. Uh, Germany. When you talk about uh, Frankfurt, you know, this is such a big country here that you see. It's a giant. Now, look, look, compare this to Slovenia. You know, it's about like 30 times bigger than Slovenia, I think. Something like this. I have no idea. Uh, 15 times at least, you know, 15 times, I think it is. Uh, for Slovenia, 150 kilometers is a big deal. Because from my city to Austria or from my city to uh, Italy is 150 kilometers. Um, to Croatia, it's, it's, it's almost, uh, I don't know, maybe 20 kilometers or something like this. If you go across the hills, uh, I think maybe 20, I have no idea how many kilometers. Definitely Zagreb is about uh, 70 kilometers from Novo Mesto city, something like this, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 it's actually 150 kilometers is a big deal 
but if I tell you that that she's from Frankfurt, I I'm not almost mistaken. I didn't say that she's from Munich, or I didn't say that she's from Hamburg. I didn't say that she's from Berlin, or she's from Leipzig, uh, or that she is from. Uh, yeah, it's true that would have been closer if I would say to Dortmund, is in Düsseldorf or something like that. Um, if I use this map where I can use to zoom myself, you know, because she's from Bonn, uh, but I'm not too damn far from Frankfurt. It's not bad. Uh, Bonn and Frankfurt are very close to one another, you see. It's actually quite close. It's still closer than you know, if I would say Leipzig or Nuremberg or Stuttgart or Munich or Hamburg uh, or Berlin and so on, the capital of Germany or anything like this, or Bifield or Hanover or something like this. It's pretty damn close. It's pretty damn close. It's not so bad. I have not done such a bad job. But there is a hook to this. Um, lucky me. I don't see Freiburg, and I'm a little bit. I will explain to you why. Um, a couple was very, very sensitive to this issue in respect to the Frankfurt. Why? Well, because uh, it's like it was always like uh, the lady got really upset with me because. Every time when I would meet these people from wherever place I went, it would be, uh, and uh, they would be asking me, like, to, to make a refreshment, basically. And where I am from, or before I would depart, they would have a depart location, whatever. And where am I from? The thing is, it was a million people involved in it. It was a million people involved in it. In no time frame, no this, no that, 33 years span. In your subconscious. And where I'm from? And I would go, Frankfurt always was Frankfurt, and it was always, no, I told you, no. <laughs> A lady became very sensitive about this, and it was, it was almost to the hell with, no. No Frankfurt till one time she stated to me, and now as a punishment, we are taking you to the Frankfurt at the airport. I was like, why? Because you don't you don't know where I am from. That is exactly why. Let's go. And they did this stuff to me a few times. Uh, delivered me to the Frankfurt airport and then we flew. These people traveled with me all over the world, anyhow. Um, so it's not so damn bad, right? If you consider Germany, it's pretty big. And if I say Frankfurt, okay, it's not Freiburg, it's not Bonn, but it's not so damn bad either. Okay, um, let's go back to this recording. Freiburg. He says Freiburg. Freiburg. Uh, and he says Bonn. Bonn. You know, Bonn. Well, Freiburg, this is like, uh, you know, how can I say? This is like you would say, uh, <laughs> I cannot recall what would be like. Uh, like, you have a city in your country, wherever it is you're from, that is like on a multiple location with the same name. You know what I mean? It's the same thing. Freiburg in Germany, this is everywhere. They must have probably 100 Freiburgs. Freiburg, I know it's in Austria. You know what I mean? Right here in Canton, Koroska, it's a Freiburg. No, actually, that's a Bleiburg. Sorry. Ah. Uh, Trust me, there is Freiburgs. Uh, doesn't tell me anything. So the man tells me, from Bonn, we are from Bonn.
and the ambulance vehicle moved past, which is very, very nice. Born. No. Still not. No, and I said to him, listen, if you're born, right? So I said, that that's not too close. That's not too far, right? That's not too far. So he get technical. He tells me, oh, he tells me it's 150 kilometers. Yeah, that's true too. I mean, like I said, in Slovenian and in Bosnian terms, that's actually quite far. Yeah. Okay, and I say, and I say to, uh, to the man, I say, well, uh, you know, I, I don't want to go wrong with it. Uh, and, and I said to him, well, you know, and, and in, in, uh, in Germany, you live in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, I said, you, you're right. And I said, this is like almost you go from here to Austria, you know, 150 kilometers, right? Um, and I said, in Germany, you live inside of the apartment building, right? And he says, he says, yes, we do live in apartment building. So I pointed out he, the couple lives inside of the apartment building. And uh, the lady asked me, says, uh, where are you coming from? And the man asks also, where are you coming from? And uh, I joke. We, we joke a little bit. I want to turn everything on a joke. And they ask me, where are you coming from? I tell them, I am from another planet. I am from the galaxy. I, I say, you know about the extra tutorials about the aliens and stuff like this. So they we are laughing. Aliens. Aliens. We are raining from the sky. Raining. <laughs> it's raining aliens. <laughs> Okay, so the lady is trying to get serious at all the costs. <laughs> and she asked me, uh, what are you doing? Are you on a vacation? Uh, what are you doing here? What? I said, vacation, you, you have a vacation. And I said to her, I said, you know, I, I told her uh, here, I tell her uh, every day is a holiday. Yeah. And again, they are laughing. Okay. So both of them are laughing. So it's quite a relaxed atmosphere. I, 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 uh, I tell the man, but wait a minute, but your wife speaks a very good English. And he says, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. Your wife speaks English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're both are laughing. How do you say husband? She is divorced. She got divorced. And I say, your wife, she is divorced. She, um, she had a husband before. She, he says, uh, a parents. You mean a parents? A man? You mean a man? This is a husband. Yes. But that was like 2000, maybe. When I said uh, she she's divorced, she got divorced like in 2000, no? And yeah, 2000. 
Like in year 2000 that happened? That they do a laughing, they don't say anything. And it's rather embarrassing for what I stated. You separated, maybe? In English, I don't speak in English. But she understands me in English. She says, English, uh, rather in English, we don't understand what you're saying. I said, but she understands English. She speaks English. Uh, she, she says to me, are you? <laughs> the lady is something. Else. She says, but, but you speak Slovenian, she says. Uh, and the guy says, the guy is from Bosnia. Uh, I'm afraid I have missed at the beginning of this audio. And the guy says, he's Yugoslavian. And I say, of course I am Yugoslavian. The two of you know me very well. I, I, I tell the man, I am from Belgrade. <laughs> he's, he's laughing now. He's laughing. My name is Slobodan, I tell them. It's so nice to really meet you. Now the two are no longer are laughing. For a moment, uh, the two all of a sudden got very, very serious. They were going to catch me, and yes, they know me, that I was always so pro-Slovenian. And that's why the lady said, but don't worry, you speak Slovenian language. Uh, when I asked her if she speaks English, right? Uh, and the two know me that the man is a Croat. Yeah, at the beginning, beginning of this audio, I missed out. I'm going to go back, but I'm not going to go over this video again. I'm going to play you the end, the whole audio, but I'm not going to go over it again because I think it's a good video so far. I think it developed fairly okay for me to just leave it this way. Um, they knew that I always advocated Bosnian and Croatian minority in Bosnia. They knew I am a veteran when it comes to Croatia. Uh, they knew I did not want to have absolutely anything to do when it comes to Serbia. Uh, so they're trying to make sure that that's me. Uh, and that, that was one way to to make sure that they are talking to the right person. Uh, and uh, for a moment, they're not sure because I said, oh, well, now you got me. I said, I'm from Belgrade and my name is Slobodan. Lady never heard about Slobodan Milosevic, but that's okay. Uh, her husband did. So they get serious and they're not sure about whom exactly they're talking about, and then I say, hey, my name is Bobby Sebastian, you know me. And they calm down again. Bobby, <laughs> the real one. <laughs> the real one. Uh, uh, yeah. she, she, she separated, you, you uh, I'm sorry, but you separated. I'm thinking about that she separated in 2000. Separated in 2000, if I'm correct. And you guys got together like sometimes like in 2000. He says he does not understand in English. He says he doesn't have a faculty. When I said he's got a faculty, that he's educated. Uh, he completed the school for the metalwork. Metalwork, that's like something like uh, high school. She also is without the university. She's also without the faculty. She also has accounting school, high school equivalent. Both are like high school. Actually, this is a banking lady, like for 
work at a bank, high school, something like this. That would be like economic high school. Okay, uh, he says, it was nice. Uh, we wish you all the best, Mr. Slobodan. They keep now joking with me and they call me Slobodan. We wish you the best. I enjoy yourself, they tell me. I say Slobodan is very happy. I am very happy. Every day is very happy. I say to the two, I see them, I say, I'm happy to see the two of you. I, I do well. Very cool. Yeah. I said, very cool. You going to your family now to Bosnia or not? Yeah, uh, but here, here, we, we would live in here. No? Ein Tag, zwei Tag, eine Woche. Uh, they already made a reservation at the local hotel here, guest house, I should say, for a night. And that's where they are going to go uh, to stay overnight. Unfortunately, will not stay two days here. Uh, the lady tells me when I say when you when you are on your way back from Bosnia, then you can stop here again in the city of the Novo Mist. I'm sure you will do this. And the lady says, no, he have to go to work. He have to work. And I said, do you have some kind of business? He says, no, not in the Germany. I work in this also in this home for elderly people. I said, but that's good for you then. He works for this home for elderly people where she used to work. In Bonn, he says that he works at. Um, basically, he tells me when it comes to the pay, the work he does is just enough to pay the bills, basically. Enough, so you got to live. If you don't work, you don't live. You don't want to come for a visit to me, huh? <laughs> I invite the two to come to visit me. Next time, huh? I says, next time you come. Thank you, Auf Wiedersehen. We say, I thank them and we part one another. What is missing here is the beginning of the video. That's going to kind of mess up the whole thing. I'm going to give you a comment in a little bit, and that's going to be pretty much it. And I think I did play this already. And where are you from? Bosnia. We are from Bosnia, yeah? Now I recall, yes, now I recall. Mostar, uh, I tell him Mostar, right? Mostar. He says, yeah, he says Mostar, uh, he says uh, Sarajevo, Zenica. Um, he doesn't say no. That's what's interesting is. He doesn't say no. 
he says he says to me Mostar uh, oh, it's the other one He says to me, Mostar, okay, Mostar, uh, Sarajevo, yeah, Zenica, yeah, uh, to remind me basically that he was driving me through here. This was his route. This was his route. He would do this stuff. Um, he was driving me throughout the Bosnia. He was an anti ultra staff member, Bosnian government used one. To transfer the uh, Bosnian Federation, you just want to transfer me throughout the, the Bosnian Federation. Yeah. So, but he actually is from Zenica. Yeah. So I was sure that he is from Mostar. Yeah. Um, he's not from Mostar. He is from Zenica. Yeah. That I did extremely, extremely poor, I must say. Uh, but it's not impossible that he would go on next to a million people. Uh, I did very well when I said uh, Mostar, don't worry about it. I have the uh, explanation for you. And your wife is from uh, uh, Germany, right? Uh, no, uh, and your wife is from, he does not tell me. I don't say that he's from Ger that she's from Germany. I don't do this. In the end, I'm going to give you the whole recap of what I stated, what I did not, and I'm going to play you also one more time audio recording. That's all I'm going to do. Uh, so he tells me that she is from Germany. I said to her, Buen appetit, enjoy your food, and she's laughing. She speaks only German, she says. Does not understand uh, a little bit English. No Bosnian language uh, or Croat or Serbian language. Uh, the two of you speak now German, right? And he says, yeah, right. Both of us. And the lady says, why? This I remember we did in this video already. This is what I'm going to stop. I'm going to give you a recap. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the whole video again, uh, audio, I should say, over again. And that's going to be it. Let me demonstrate to you what I know about this uh, couple uh, to go beyond any doubt I think by now Angela Merkel must have exploded uh, because she wanted this to definitely go through number one Angela Merkel wanted to go for this case to get through because she invested financially in one German government was not happy to learn that her friend, the lady that you were able to hear I was talking to, uh, got special privileges for her involvement in this case. When I say privileges, we're going to go back 30 years in time. We're going to go to year 1995 and maybe even earlier. I don't know. It's possible even 94. Who knows? Um, The lady was uh, from a house, a family house, mother, father house. Uh, when she got involved, and because of this case, because of this involvement, uh, they built a new. Uh, apartments, but when I say apartments, I say uh, rather a uh, high-rise buildings, and it was in the city of Bonn. 
I am not going to go and Google anything because it's everything inside of my head. And by Googling and using the internet services, as I stated, this is the recording from yesterday. I just came home. I went for a walk last night one more time, a little bit. Then I went to sleep and then I got up, started to work. Um, I have to say that uh, I don't need any of internet because I can see things. Um, based on memory events, uh, based on events. Um, she is from Bonn, talking about the apartment building. I don't know where the, the parents' house is. I'm going to get to all that stuff. But that was a parents' house, home of mom, father, uh, and... Um, It's actually even a possibility that she used to rent a flat in one house. In 97, however, it was apartments that were completed. A high rise is a modern, beautiful buildings. Uh, well, there is like, uh, you could go for a walk, like a, uh, like a narrow asphalt, a track basically for, for, for people to walk. Uh, even go with a bicycle, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, it's a big city in Bonn, you know, and uh, it was a financing option for her that opened. A credit, she took a credit and she got her apartment. Uh, for her level of education and for her solitary status, uh, that was actually, I'm not going to say a risk investment, but Angela Merkel stepped in and did her best to assist her friend, this lady. And I know there were some people that envied her uh, for having ability to actually move into the such a place just like this, uh, with a job like that, uh, with the job also was a challenge for her. Because at her work, everybody had degrees, universities. And there were some also beautiful ladies that flirted with me over there, some German ladies in that office. Um, so that was in 97 that those apartments were complete, completed. And probably was in 98 that she moved to that high-rise apartment building. You're talking about the building that probably has about... I estimate maybe like 15 floors, maybe. I don't know, between 10 and 15 floors, something like this. It's a high rise. Uh, and so this is her story. Uh, she is, however, from probably the area probably of Freiburg, because this is a smaller, she's from the suburb, you know. I don't know, and I, I don't want to know. Because uh, the description I'm giving you is detailed enough for police, for the law enforcement to picture exactly what I'm talking about. And it's not difficult to find these people. It's a piece of cake. Um, this is her brother who kept, who kept the home. Uh, I think she does also have a sister and brother. And brother was the one who stayed inside of the home, inside of the house. Um, and she and her sister moved out. And uh, this brother is a very, very nice man. This was a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful man who always was on my side. Uh, he would give anything to help me out, her brother. Her brother was the one who loved me more than anybody. Uh, even I think that he loved me more than she did. He, he had a problem because uh, everybody turned against him for supporting me. Uh, that's how it is. Yeah? Her brother was the one who inherited that house from the parents. Um, and uh, so I gave you a really good information right that she has a brother and that she has a sister that's what i know 
I don't know if she had one more sister. Possibility is that she had a sis that she had a two sisters and one brother. But I think I'm sure for one brother and for one sister, I'm definitely sure. As I stated, possibility is that she also had one more sister. One brother and one sister, definitely. Home, the house of the parents, is not too big. Yeah, this is a home like um this is like you say one story it's just a house not too big house in a street next to other houses a very quiet street and uh they have scarps like let's say a uh, stone made scarps that divide these properties in this quiet street it's stone built the scarps uh it's green uh and it's in a suburb now let's go to her work location. Her work location is such that there were three locations. The location where she worked at, as Angela Merkel drilled me, I really wouldn't know if it wasn't some information I would be missing if it wasn't for Angela Merkel. I have to say that. Uh, that location. Angela Merkel doesn't want the ice cream, ladies and gentlemen. She does not want ice cream. She doesn't want pizza. She just wants what I say. That's what she wants. I say, I would not know this information without Angela. This is a spiel. This is a music in her eyes right now. Uh, so what I was going to say is... Um, her work location consisted of three different locations. Um, I have to be nice because because of Angela, I got to know this residence in this old uh, portion of facility, which consists of three different facilities. That's why I, I'm giving you a little break here because of these older people that I'm never going to get to meet and they're never going to get to meet me, but their sons and daughters maybe will. Um, she works in a main building. Main building is a huge ass hospital alike building. It's a home for elderly people, but there you, you, you see the videos about my father, how he is, but the only difference between I don't know if there is any difference. Not much of a difference. Um, for the fraction of it, maybe more modern, newer. For the fraction of it, I would agree, more ample, space-wise. But that's all there is to it. Um, it's like... A nurse home where you would care uh, for a patients that need a special attention, basically, that go in there, basically, uh, because there's nobody at home that could possibly assist them, because they are more in a need of a medical care than uh, companionship. They don't have a capacity anymore, in other words, to function on their own. And this is a giant, newer place. Yeah, it's newer when compared especially to the oldest facility. I stated there are three different facilities. This older facility, however, is, this is not in Bonn. This is what a gentleman probably stated, is what he meant, Freiburg or whatever. So this is outside of the uh Outside of Bonn, I think, like in a suburbia of Bonn. I think it's like in a suburb of the Bonn city. It's huge cities. Um, and uh, from the facility where she works at, yeah, and she works inside of this administration, uh, yeah, not such a big place to tell you. Administration consists of like 
I'm going to say like few offices only. Yeah, there's like a little building dedicated to the administration that is attached to this, to this place, to this uh, complex, to this newer complex. Yeah, big ass home for elderly people. It's big, uh, like a factory, basically. When compared to about, I have no idea because they rode me with a car. Probably it's about a kilometer distance or something like this. Maybe it's more. But I remember I would go with Angela. They would sit me in the car and then they would drive. And uh, I have no idea. It could be kilometer. It could be 12 kilometer. I have no idea. But we would stop. We would go and it would be like on a countryside where it would be like very actually old building that also is part of this and it's home for elderly people too yeah and uh in that home for elderly people it kind of a look to me like well yeah like a home for elderly people it was just old uh facility kind of maybe even historical facility older building like the one Let's say my father was here in the hospital, the novel mayor, so it's a, a De Franceschi De building. It's an old building with also ample areas inside. And I got a feeling that uh, the people, the residents, required less uh, medical attention uh, in their surroundings. Uh, it was like more ample, well, actually also kind of, you know, it depended on who. Uh, but outside, they would have everything around was green. So that means it was really out on a country side more. Uh, and uh, right outside of this, uh, uh, maybe I'm mistaken because we used to even walk there, I think. Uh, it's not too far from there. Probably, I don't know, a kilometer, maybe something like that. Uh, it's just uh, it's like circle like around that you could go with a car and they have a benches that people would sit I don't know if they have a fountain, fountain or something like this I don't think maybe I don't know really but I know they have green they have bushes and stuff like this no they don't have a fountain they don't have a fountain uh, if I would go and look that on the map I remember they did some improvements on it too in respect to entrance. That would do me some good. The entrance, they have done something to the entrance uh, into the building, to this old facility. Uh, and the entrance, so I think this is uh, uh, that she moved to Bonn from Freiburg apartment because this is closer to Bonn and this must be actually on the uh, within within the city Bonn suburbia something like this that's why she moved to Bonn because this high-rise building this is in Bonn apartment building where they live yeah um, and so there was an improvement they have done and the improvement was done about year 2000 what exactly happened with improvement without my even looking at the picture the improvement is something was done at the entrance so what exactly was done at the entrance maybe they have done something for disabled people that a ramp or something like that maybe the entrance had a thorough have undergone a thorough improvement i know this year 2000 and 2000, 2001, maximum 2001. Residents, I'm never going to meet them. I can tell you about the same rooms, look about the same like at the building or at De Franciscieva, where my father was in the old part of the General Hospital of Novo Mesto, the first building where they transferred him. Um, in 2002, however, which psychiatrists here from Slovenia 
police and stuff, they did go to see that. They didn't even know that. It came to them, they, nobody told them anything about that stuff. It came to their attention sometimes like in 2005, finally. But I knew Angela signaled me on the site. She said, we're building a new facility, by the way, uh, for elderly people. Uh, they started with this new facility for elderly people. And it's like, was built in a vicinity of it. However, it's like an industrial area. You would have also companies around there. Yeah. So, uh, considering that, that would be like probably the third facility. Uh, the newest one that was probably finished and opened Officially opened probably in 2000, and I estimate in 2002 or 2003. Huh? How about this? So I do remember something about this stuff. What I can tell you about the man. So yeah, she worked in the accounting department and the man, uh, he got exactly the kind of job in the building where she used to work exactly the building out of these three facilities there are he works in that building where she used in this main building in this biggest structure of hope for elderly people and uh, he is working like in department for intensive care i would say it, because i remember that's why i thought that she's a nurse I asked if she's a nurse i was sure that she's a nurse and this is a hospital I remember her walking with me to check on her honey, on her husband. She would say, let's go and let's go see them. And she would go with me through these departments for the people to meet me at this home for elderly people, nurses and so on, just like it was here in Nova Mesta. So I remember his work assignment it looked exactly like something he would work like where my father is at right now. That's that. Um, she just about exited her work for retirement when uh, he moved in. He probably well about probably uh, I don't know. 10 years maybe that the that, that two worked together, not together, that she was still employed and then she left for retirement. Uh, yeah, you understand me what I'm saying? She was still employed for probably even 10 years, seven years, something like this, when uh, he got job there. She's older than him, a really good looking German, uh, lady, uh, I did not know how to estimate the age during MK Ultra. This is basically the way it was. Um, let's go to the man who is from Zenica. In a video I'm going to attach, which is rather not good, rather catastrophe. Uh, I suggest it's a, it's a totally Serbian enclave over there. It's not. This is a, a city with a mixed population, with probably the most mixed population in within the Bosnian Federation. This is not part of the Republika Srpska. This is a part of uh, Bosnian Federation. That means Muslims, Serbs, and Croats. However, yes, there is however. The man was married. She was not married. I suggested that she divorced. She did not divorce. He divorced. And he divorced. He separated. Definitely also on a paper sometimes in 2000. But he separated with his lady already sometimes like in 97. Uh, situation, job, joblessness and that kind of stuff was severe. He didn't know what to do with it. Look, job, opportunity, and so on. And settled for this opportunity in Germany, finally. 
uh, and pursued his life there. Um, the lady he was married with. First of all, important to, before I go to that issue, it's political. It should declare the guy is a croat. This is a croat guy. This guy is a croat. That's why I insisted that he is probably from Mostar. Because Mostar is the most croat city populated with the croats within a Bosnian federation. Mostar. Um, and the problem is that he was the one who was driving me around through this uh, Bosnian federation. He was an MPR trustee member that if whenever he was present, he would take over and would commute me to different locations throughout uh, Bosnian Federation, of which his specialty was Mostar, Sarajevo, and Zenica. Yeah? That's why. So he's a Croat, important uh, to notice, uh, who, however, here is where I'm unsure, was either married to a Bosnian, or even more likely to a Serb, I'm not sure. Um, he was married, and he has one child, from what I can recall. Got divorced, separated in like in 97, and finalized divorce probably around in 2000. I was not interested in his lady, who apparently was interested in me. Uh, he does have, however, uh, what I believe also is one sister, or maybe even two sisters, who already are completely established with their families, with their lives, um, and are also intermarried with a Serbs, I think. This is how it is. Um, I don't have anything else to say in respect to this video. He, I could say something more about in Bonn, but I would not because that is just too personal. I don't know uh, enough about it and I shouldn't. Uh, that's all there is to it. I definitely hope I would get to meet this couple again. Let me see if there's like anything else that I missed on. I I properly somewhat did identify that 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 uh, you know that he's a croat definitely. Uh, he liked that idea about a slobodan because uh, you could not get me into any kind of. Uh, Belgrade issue, even if you had me, like it was his case, surrounded with the Serbs. It doesn't matter to me. You, you just, you wasted your time, basically. That's all there is to it. Um, they tried so hard and they failed. They failed even more. Um, not that he would do this, but, uh, you know, in a multi ethnic country like this, uh, it's all kinds of stuff that goes on. I mean, there was a war not too long ago there, ethnic, and you can see how it goes in the Ukraine. So you can understand the passions. Just read over Srebrenica and you will know exactly what I am referring to. Um, I made a mistake about... Uh, Yeah, I actually didn't make no fucking mistakes. What I did right now is just uh, extraordinary. Uh, the lady who has a brother and this brother has, the, this old, uh, her sister, and I think she has two sisters in Germany, not only one, I think she has two, and one brother. Uh, they all have children, they all have families. Uh, What else do you want from me? I mean, this is it. That's all I can tell you. My regards to, to her brother, 
He was very, very nice man, this German guy. Stop by sometimes. Maybe you go to Croatia. I don't know what to tell you. No, I don't have a problem with anybody. I don't have problems with these issues. But I do think that I did exactly what I had to do. Uh, at the beginning of this audio video, I have pointed out that probably would be Germans alone that would want me to enter the Reichstag over there in Berlin with a tank of my own through that gate and through that door because it's a stuff that should never happen. I regret the people in this home for elderly people in this facility, in this older building whom I will never meet. Maybe I will meet their sons and daughters that were involved in it but I definitely will not meet their fathers who prayed to meet me, who prayed to give some kind of testimony. They made people so excited about it. It's no good. It's, it's a bad stuff that, that people have to die and with a question on their mind. And I was that fucking question, the final question I was. That sucks. It, it's really personal. Video that I will void. I'm going to title one as Void This Video and so on. I am going to post on because of some other issues that I discuss. So basically, so you can see how it all works. But this video is okay. This video is going to go online. I'm going to go ahead, ladies and gentlemen, and play you one more time the audio here. Uh, is this thing going to move away or what now? <laughs> Damn, hey. Uh, I am going to play you audio one more time so you can hear. And that's about it. Peace, brothers. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a time and date. I think I did fairly good. I think I did fairly good. Here is also the map of this. Uh, this is a rather... Can you even see Mostar here? Yeah, Mostar is right on the bottom right there. Uh, this is a Bosnian Federation. This is a Bosnian now. It's all divided. On one side you have a, a Republika Srpska, and then you have whatever is left of Bosnia, which is known as a Federation of Bosnia. This is a Muslim and a Croat uh, majority in what is marked in green. Oh, so he's from Zenica. And that's all there is. I am not going to go and Google Freiburg or anything like this. But this is basically where the lady originally is from. And to be close to the job, she scored uh, exactly what I stated to you. The apartment building where she moved in. Sometimes in 98, it was finalized. They finalized that apartment building high rises. This apartment building, this high rises... If I already have to go and demonstrate this apartment buildings, um, I, I will do this for you. Why not? Uh, but I am going to use another city. Um, and so, you know what? Let's go like this. And I'm going to go Germany. High rise buildings. There is more high rise buildings. It's not only one. Uh, high-rise buildings uh, give you even a stronger description about it why the hell not let's do it like this huh? why don't we do this stuff here um you're gonna go like this you're gonna go like this tick 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 um when it comes to this high-rise buildings i got an impression i got a feeling back then uh, more likely than not, uh, it would look like something like this, you know, except that it would be more separately, you know. Uh, it was like not only one, but it was more of these high-rise buildings like this, this, many of this, you know, rather many, many of this. This basically is what I had on my mind, if you really want to know, if I describe
it really would be so easy for me to find this place, find these people, as I suggested. This would really, really be a piece of cake. I don't know, where is this here? Uh, Neuparlach. Let, let's see this Neuparlach. Let's see what that looks like. Bavaria. Neuparlach, Munich. Let's see if I can find some other uh, similarities. 70 S. How is being in Munich? I don't know. All right. Let's, let's take this one here. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to tell you exactly what it looks like. This is really, really a piece of cake, though. Uh, for me, oh, this is too dense, this stuff here. It's not so dense. It's dense, but it's not so, the apartment buildings are not so, uh, it's not so, it, it doesn't come with a, such a density. I am looking rather for something else. Um, yeah. You know, yeah. Von Gebirge mit Alpenblick, München, and so on. Um, now, you know, meow, meow. Uh, let me see something else. Uh, let's do some of this here. Yeah. Okay, let's see this here. This I like that. I like it uh, because of this here. Uh, uh, they usually have this is what is this Mannheim? Okay, Mannheim. Mannheim. We're gonna do it like this. So I spot uh, some. Something that would give me a fast opportunity to demonstrate more or less the landscape. Uh, let me see this here. Ludwigshafen. Uh, let's see this here. Uh, usually you would get architecturally uh, most often. Yeah, I think that probably, let me see this here. If I'm going to succeed with something like this. Actually, I don't remember the river that would be in front of her apartment uh, where this, uh, you can go walk. Uh, it's like a track, asphalt track. Uh, but there's one thing I remember, a highway. It's a highway. The river is not, but it's a river of cars that rolls in front of her apartment, in front of her high-rise. These are the buildings that are at least 15 floors high. And I'm just, yeah, this is probably a, a good one, this one that probably I can use. Uh, so, uh, you know, at least this here. Yeah, maybe I am going to succeed with this. Now, this is not high enough. Yeah, it's not, nothing is going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I mean by this trail. Yeah. A lot of this here, did you see this here? Traffic, traffic. Uh, on the way to work. Uh, how many times her husband took me. Uh, what became afterwards his work and so on. Yeah, this is this is how it is. This is how it is. Okay, if the couple will come again, and we can discuss some more. Uh, in two thousand, in two thousand, the entrance to this old building, they have made an improvement to one. The entrance probably gained. Uh, um, like for the handicapped people, uh, ac access ramp or something like that, which I'm not really sure, but it was thoroughly beautified, uh, changed much. Uh, yeah, it really was more pleasant. This was a, these are all these old German buildings, are anyways, they're beautiful. They're, they're all these old buildings are beautiful. All right. Let me see something else here. Yeah, the German is on strike right now. I have to tell you this. 
Uh, Angela Merkel told me that uh, when the aliens come, the extraterrestrials, uh, they will do something like this for me. What exactly that means is that they would disable uh, street maps uh, throughout the Germany. And I, I'm not kidding. This is real. I already have video recorded this stuff. Uh, she stated that there's got to be some kind of, uh, like, it's got to smell like a conspiracy. So this is also a gift for me. Here, the Google Maps is completely disabled for the Germany. See this? We already the Stuttgart. This is Munich. Whatever you go, I can assure you that all these highways that you see right there, it all functions. Till I popped up on the picture. And then Angela Merkel was so happy that she decided he's just going to go and dismantle the whole thing. She's into conspiracy theories. But I will say thank you this time. See, that's Germany, Austria, and let's try here. And we have a street view. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, Austria. The extra testerials. Nuremberg, look. Still on the German side, you don't get to see anything. On the Czech side, let's see if it works. Ah, there you go. On the Czech side, it works. Let's go close to Berlin, let's say. And I see Frankfurt under order. You don't see anything, but how about on the Polish side? Pollocks are now also in the in the alien life. Ah, it works. Just a little further. Oh, look at that. It also works. Even here is a really small road and it works. But on the German side, on the superhighway, it doesn't. Autobahn doesn't work. It's out because the extra tutorials took out a Google Maps. How about situation next to Denmark? On the German side, there is nothing. On the Danish side, you see, I told you that Angela Merkel is into conspiracies. In, on the German side, it works. How about here in Netherlands? On the Dutch side, it works. Too damn bad, I have to disconnect that one. How about on German side? Still nothing. Hey, the aliens did their job. Belgium works. The Belgium is on. She didn't do my work there. But on the German side, there's nothing. Maybe on the German side, they just disconnected everything because look at that. On the France and the French side, the Google Street Map works okay. On the German side, right across the border, no street maps. Angela, Angela, what you did? Switzerland, the same thing. Italy, the same thing. Yeah, I guess Angela just, Angela decided to take off Germany from the map there you go Okay.
Ja, ja. That's about it. Let me see if she's into aliens. Maybe she is. Yep, it could be. Hmm. Yep, it looks that I found her link. All right, thanks for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. A date and time I, I have failed, and then I'm going to play your audio one more time. That's about it. There you go. It says Monday, May 22nd, 2023. It is. Let's do it one more time this thing here. Kako si? Si? Ani odakle? Odakle? Bosnia. Is this Zenice? Yeah. Zenice. A Vasa is Zena. She's Nemec. On a Nemec. Yeah, on a Nemec. So many of the world. Yeah. Ah, Razumian. Ah, good appetite. A ona razumije. Nein, <laughs> Wie sagt das in Deutsch? Das ist, äh, ich glaube, es ist in einem Spital, ne? Ist nicht? So? Pension. Jetzt? Ja. ja. Aber früher hatte ich nicht. Vorher. Staratschkund. Staratschkund Dormo. Ja. Aha, für die, für die ältere Volk. Genau, ja. ältere. Ältere. Nein, nein, in Verwaltung. <lacht> In uh, Ratschunowolstwo. Ratschunowolstwo. Aha, in eine, okay. Ja, 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 ja. Staratschko Dom, je Steuer, Obratschun, Steuer, Steuer, <laughs> Finanz, <laughs> Finanz, <laughs> Finanz, <laughs> Finanzminister. Genau. Ja, 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 ja. 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 Is Frankfurt and Shotako? Freiburg? No, Freiburg. Is it not out Frankfurt? Freiburg. Freiburg. Yeah. No, that is a circa out. It's not so weit from Frankfurt. Yeah, 150 kilometers. 150? 150 is like the way we go to Austria. No, 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 no,
Ich, ich bin aus, aus unserem Planet, Planet. Ah, okay. Galaxien, wie sagt man das? Äh, Extraterrestrial, ja, ja. ja, ja. ja. Aliens, Aliens. Aliens. Ja, ja. We are raining from the sky, raining. <lacht> It's raining Aliens. Urlaub oder nicht? Urlaub? Urlaub? Das ist, das ist hier, was, was, was macht es hier? Das ist immer Urlaub. Immer. Jeder Tag ist Urlaub. Urlaub. Okay. Ja. Ja, Every ja, ja. day is a holiday. Ja, ja. But your wife speaks good English. I remember. Yeah, yeah. Your wife speaks English. Ja, ja, ja. Und äh, ihre Frau hat vorige eine Uh, how do you say husband? She is divorced. She got divorced. Yeah, that uh, is. Ro rod rod failure, ne? husband. No. Uh, yeah. um, Ado, but man. Uh, no, husband. She had a husband before. Nah? She yeah. got divorced. Nah? Mm -hmm. But that was like 2000, maybe. In Jahre 2000. Like in year 2000 that happened, that you separated, maybe? Yeah. In, in English, I don't speak in English. But she understands me in English. I mean, but he can speak Slovenian, right? Slovenian. Is he Slovenian? Yeah, naturally. He's been out there, right? Yes. I call him Slobodan. It is so nice to meet you. Sebastian. 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 Bobby, 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 <laughs> the real one, <laughs> the real one. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. She, she, she separated. You, you. Uh, I'm sorry, but you separated in 2000, if I'm correct. And you guys got together like sometimes like in 2000. Не разумим английски. Не разумим английски. Pa vi imate više izobražovanja izno, više izobražen čovek, vi imate isto fakultet. Ne, ne, ne. Vi imate neki fakultet. Nemate fakultet? Denci, metalski škol za vrši, metalurga. Za metalurga? Ja, ona je. A ona je isto nema fakultet. Ona nema fakulteta? Ona fakulteta je završila za kauf, bank kauf prav. To srednja ekonomska škola. Srednja ekonomska škola, aha. Ništa, ok. Musel gen, mach's gut, slobodan. Uživaj. Slobodan i sepi. Slobodan, every day happy, slobodan, every day. Ok. I'm happy to see you. <laughs> Very okay. cool. Yeah, must be. Well. Well. <laughs> You're going to your family now to Bosnia or not? Yeah, but here I'm a Zimmer da jetzt genommen in. Ah, here, here, the the will uh, bleiben here. No, a day, two days, one night. Only one night. Nur eine Nacht. Und dann sie will zurück muss kommen. Yeah, 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 pa tamo dobro plati, ne? Ja, plati, da plati stan, plati auto, ovo, ono tam vam opet, ja. No, ali koliko tamo, ono, daju para? To nije tako, mislim da bi... To je, da možeš da živiš... Da možeš da živiš. Da možeš da živiš, ali moraš raditi. Jer ako ne radiš, znači socijala, ono na socijali ne možeš imati ništa. Ne, ne, radiš, moraš se. Ja, da, da, razumijem. Razumijem. Maskut, ja. 
You don't want to come for a visit to me, huh? <laughs> Next time, huh? Danke schön. Auf Wiedersehen. Glück, Glück. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.